Singapore's Temasek Holdings saw more modest gains in its annual net portfolio value, which crossed $400 billion for the year ended in March. Its one-year total shareholder return came in at 5.81%. While positive, it was lower than the previous year's 24.5%. With the risk of recession growing for many developed economies, the Singapore state investment firm is being cautious. CNBC's Sri Jagaraja spoke more about this with Temasek's West Coast head Martin Fitchner, who is also deputy head of tech and consumer. We look at the economy by, by region and we are taking a cautious approach. We do see pressures uh, 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 around the globe. If we take uh, the different markets, in the U.S. we definitely uh, see a slowdown, we see inflationary pressures, uh, uh, we see a tight labor market on the other hand. Um, uh, we think a mild recession is possible, but I would underscore that if it happens, it is mild. Uh, in Europe, with the uh, Euro Ukraine Russia conflict, uh, the pressure is higher and we see a tougher second half of the year um, ahead. China, on the other hand, um, it may have trouble meeting its growth target of 5.5%, uh, but policy is supportive. There is going to be a question in terms of how the slowdown in the US and Europe does uh, trickle into China. Can you give us a bit more colour about uh, the landscape and the outlook for uh, Europe, which really seems to be at the sharp end of the inflation crisis and uh, the growth slowdown? How in particular does that potentially stand to affect uh, your exposure there through portfolio companies in the short and the long term? We don't have an ex a particularly strong uh, uh, exposure to energy uh, uh, in a pointed way, but everyone in Europe is going to have exposure to uh, the increase in prices and the inflationary, inflationary pressures. If we think about Germany in particular, I think that, that that pressure will be very high. In the UK, we're seeing some loss of consumer confidence. Can you talk about the uh, portfolio investments that you are making in Europe and to what degree has uh, the transition to net zero been complicated by uh, Russia's invasion of Ukraine and this uh, ensuing profound energy crisis there? I think it's a matter of time frames. In the short term, uh, having access to energy is necessary and therefore we may see some greater reliance on uh, less green energy uh, in the short term. At the same time in Europe, we are seeing a redoubling of the commitment towards uh, going to more sustainable, greener sources of energy. Uh, the programs, if you look in the medium and longer term, are accelerating, and therefore we do have a focus to invest in that sector uh, uh, on the sustainable side.